Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, мы говорим с Кабалей. Hello, dear friends, we're with Dr. Michael Lightman. Hello, Dr. Lightman. Dr. Lightman, hello, everyone. Simeon. Today, people believe in whatever. They have to be, they have to choose themselves what to believe in. People don't believe in vaccines, don't believe in the coronavirus. We don't believe doctors, but we believe shamans, fortune tellers. There are plenty of different methods of how to cure, how to get cured from the coronavirus. You won't believe it. The question is what to believe. What should people believe? Dr. Lightman. Simeon, what can a person believe? Dr. Lightman, I don't believe anything. There is no such thing for me that I have to believe. I don't feel that life forces me to believe in something. Simeon, but I, I believe, I trust doctors, science. Dr. Lightman, but in a very narrow framework. If the doctor tells me that you have this and that after he took a blood test or whatever, then I believe him. Simeon, but you know, still there's this rule, go to the doctor once, twice. Dr. Lightman, we have that now too. Simeon, so what should a person believe in? Dr. Lightman, the thing is that we're living, that we're living in such times where people are using their egoism in bad ways. And really, if a doctor tells me that I think that this and that medicine's good for you, then I might think that he's working for some pharmaceutical company, that he's going to make money off me. Everything passes like through sand into the ego, and so we don't believe nothing and no one. Simeon, so yeah, a doctor could be bought, and this is the reason. Dr. Leitman, yeah, we see how everything is sold on the internet. Doctors speak out saying, I recommend this, I recommend that. Simeon, so you think that the reason is the ego that, you know, they don't trust anyone. Dr. Leitman, everything's sold out, fixed. Simeon, an ordinary person, how how should he live in this kind of situation? Dr. Leitman, I'll tell you, I know this grandma. Simeon, exactly. Dr. Leitman, she'll tell you everything, including everything, and it's not expensive, Simeon, and you believe, and you believe in what she says, that she's really doing wonders, and you tell other people about it. This is how people live nowadays, Dr. Leitman, I know. Simeon, the development of medicine for many years. Dr. Leitman, this is the general picture of the world today, where there's nothing holy anymore. That's it. We don't believe anything, not in ourselves, not in God, not in the devil, not in nothing. And people really remain without nothing, like a little child standing, he was forgotten someplace, and he's crying, and that's it. Simeon, and what's the Creator's plan here? Dr. Lightman, to find ourselves standing, like we're standing naked. Simeon, I see that this is the work all the time. You know, to be, to bring people to a state where they're like, you know, they're afraid of everything, Dr. Leitman, and nothing to trust it, only the upper force that will gradually come once a person will understand how is it supposed to be, what is it supposed to be like, meaning that it is based on complete bestowal, love above one's ego, when a person will understand what this upper force is supposed to be and how can I turn to it, then a person will ripen, and he will come to the truth. Simeon, what, people won't need doctors then? Dr. Lightman, no. What do you need doctors then for? 
It's only for this period where the Creator is concealed. But afterwards, everything will be fulfilled by the connection between people and the Creator. And I think that this is going to happen very quickly because I already have certain hope after the coronavirus to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Simeon, so what's happening now? The Creator, can we say that the Creator is nearing us? Dr. Lightman, yes. Simeon, and we can't stand that. Dr. Lightman, it's not that we can't stand it. We don't understand this blow yet. We don't understand him. We have to be really shook up in order for it to pain us, for us to be helpless, for us to really lose our head from all the search without finding a solution. We need to prepare ourselves for it, for us to be hungry for the truth for facts, for some kind of basis of how things are supposed to be. And when all this will ripen in us, then we will be able, then we will be able to start revealing the Creator. Simeon, so other methods don't work on us. Dr. Leitman, what else can you do? The Creator did everything he could. He created the ego. He developed it for thousands of years. And now we came to a state where this ego is revealing its complete inability to serve anything and everything. And due to that, we're starting to determine to discern what should come instead of it. Simeon, instead of the ego. Dr. Lightman, yes. Simeon, so your advice, as always, is what should an ordinary person believe in? Dr. Lightman, not to believe in anything. He simply has to open our books that talk about the upper force, about the Creator, and to understand that everything that has happened to us, with us, and is going on, it's all in order for us to become needy of the real Creator and not some invented one that was invented by religions, fortune tellers, grandmas, and so on. Simeon, what does it mean to need the real Creator? Everyone has their own Creator. You know, in the comments, people say, I agree with what you're saying. I believe in God for a long time, this, that. Dr. Light, well, everyone invents a God for himself. And it's written about Abraham that he destroyed all of those idols. Simeon, believing in different gods. A different god means a god that suits my ego, fits it. Dr. Lightman, of course, and if it's the truth, then it can be only one. It is altruism based only on what's above the ego. Simeon, so when I don't believe, when I feel bad, this is where I have to search. My ego feels bad, as you say, it's good. Dr. Lightman, yeah, Simeon, meaning he's near, he's coming closer, and he's the opposite of all of this. Dr. Lightman, of course. Simeon, and what should I do then? Dr. Lightman, search and clearly understand or s scrutinize how am I supposed to be? How am I supposed to become to find him, reveal him? Simeon, and a person, if he constantly asks these questions, this is what he'll come to? Dr. Lightman, yeah? Simeon, so how can I find him? He's somewhere near, but he's something else. And if this is what pains me, I'm heading there. Dr. Lightman, or in what ways can I release myself, relieve myself of my evil? There are several ways. Simeon, and necessarily there has to be the recognition of evil, that the evil is the ego. Dr. Lightman, the understanding of the concept of evil has to be, the recognition of evil has to be. Everything that we understand is between the good and the bad. Everything will come. And very quickly. I'm very happy about this period. I see, according to all of our friends, students, that everything is going through a good cleaning, cleansing. Simeon, okay. 
Next topic. Yesterday you talked about this on the Raiders meeting. A person's already tired of the coronavirus, obviously. He doesn't stay at home anymore. He barely protects himself. He's tired. Dr. Leitman, that doesn't mean anything yet. He's tired because he's forced to. And he'll come to this because he will force himself. This is something else. Simeon will force himself to isolate himself. Dr. Leitman, yes. And not in order not to get infected, but in order not to infect others. Simeon, this is important. Dr. Leitman, this is the most important thing. And until that, we have to go through several more stages. But when will we start getting better? When we'll rise above the corona, where we'll start caring for others, not only for for our those that are close to us, but for others. Simeon, I'd like to hear your perspective on this. In Alabama, their party is where teenagers or students get together. They don't care about the coronavirus. They compete. Who's going to get infected first? And whoever is infected first and is confirmed, he gets the, the jackpot. What does this actually mean? It, it expresses what in a person. Dr. Leitman, I position my ego against the Creator. They don't understand this, but actually this is what it is. I position it opposite the Creator, against them. Who's who? Dr. Simeon, well, this is exalted. Dr. Leitman, they don't understand this, but it's good. The Creator likes this. Dr. Simeon, what's good about this, Dr. Leitman, the recognition of one's own ego. And this can't come without a person saying, I disagree with you. Simeon, this is an exalted explanation. Dr. Leitman, it doesn't matter. Actually, a person's telling the Creator, um, I disagree with you, I disagree with what you're doing. I disagree with my life, with being born, with being limited and everything. I disagree with all of this. Take it all back. Simeon, beautiful. And what does this all lead to, this protest? Dr. Lightman, what's the Creator supposed to do? <laughs> Simeon, that's a question. That's a question. Either to allow a person to reach his limits, Dr. Lightman, of course he'll allow it, to a clear point of recognition where there's no way back. Simeon, so they won't be immediately punished. Dr. Lightman, of course not. Oh, they'll be on and off in this and then the awareness of this will start appearing that they're facing the force of nature here not some you know god of any kind but nature and it's going to be interesting but it'll come people are going to write about this talk about this Simeon, so it's not going to be just one case or something. Dr. Lightman, no, all of humanity. Simeon, so what they're going through, all of humanity will experience this kind of resistance to the Creator without being aware and being aware. Dr. Lightman, no, it'll come soon. Simeon, in this situation, should I be afraid of this or a person that reads about these things or thinks about these things? Things, thinks about something completely different. They're crazy. What are they doing? Simeon, I understand them. I think psychologists understand them too. Simeon, I think so. Dr. Leitman, in many cases in life, a person in despair is willing to cut off everything. He simply can't take the pressure, the limitations anymore, framework. And he's ready for anything. How people jump on barricades. It's all tested by psychologists. Simeon, so if you see something positive, then this kind of process is something closer to you. 
stuck to Lakeman. Yeah. It's about who gave this to me? Who am I facing here? Who's doing it to me? I'm willing to fight whoever that is. I don't see the truth. I don't see justice here, anything just in the way I'm being treated by nature, by society, by the Creator, the government maybe. Simeon, so what will they come to? Dr. Leitman, they will come to a point where they will have big questions that especially teenagers will look at the sky and simply yell, where are you? Show yourself. And the Creator, He will shake them up more and more. Simeon, and then Dr. Leitman, and as a result of the tremendous contradicting feelings inside a person, they will start understanding how to turn to him. Simeon, so they will reach the revelation of the upper force. Dr. Leitman, yes, only we do it in a different way. And this is how it's going to be for them. Simeon, more of a way of suffering. Dr. Leitman, it's a way of clear suffering, but a quick way. The Creator prepared for them. Simeon, so you're saying that this question of what's the meaning of life, it already, it's already burning in them. Dr. Leitman, well, it's all hidden behind these parties and covered with all of these things. It's not on the level that we're talking about, but they'll come to this. Simeon, so this call is coming out of disagreement, Dr. Leitman, and it's all mixed. And people walking in parks, people going to stadiums, soon it's all going to be prohibited completely. It's impossible to let people out altogether. Sit like a dog at home, that's it. The only thing missing is for you to be tied to your bed. Simeon, so you think it's going to be an order that will be given, not out of my own awareness or willingness, Dr. Leitman. Yeah? Simeon, so even governments will come to this. It's not me, myself. Dr. Leitman asked them today, they'll say that it's will, that this is preferable, only they can't say that because they'll be, they'll be all fired. You know, in every government, half of the people are discontent with the government, they're against it, at least half. Simeon, well, God help us all. Dr. Leitman. There will be such things everywhere that people will see the entire lowliness of their governing governors. They'll simply arrange a life in parallel without governments. Simeon, okay, we'll get back to this. Now a bit of a different topic, because we can't only talk about the coronavirus. Today, practically all over, marijuana is being legalized. Israel is legalizing it now. Dr. Leitman, when was that? Simeon, it was 20 years ago. I even remember where. It was in Los Angeles, in a hotel. And you said, you'll see, the window was closed, it's forbidden to smoke. And you said, you'll see that this will bring to the legal legislation of light drugs and then heavier drugs, harder drugs. And I thought, that's impossible. I was thinking to myself, how this billion dollar industry, tobacco, tobacco companies that made tremendous, enormous sums of money, who's going to force them to do it? Now they're writing on cigarettes, hazardous to your health, gives you cancer. Dr. Lightman, humanity got rid of nicotine, Simeon, but it came to light drugs, Simeon, uh, Dr. Lightman, but how? 
Uh, Simeon, but how, Dr. Lightman? I don't know. I don't want to give it an answer. But you see that it's unthinkable. Simeon, yeah, I get these kinds of earnings, and I say, no, nah, it's okay. Dr. Lightman, yeah, they quietly, every company shuts its mouth, every tobacco company shut its, shuts its mouth, and allowed everyone to do whatever they feel like with it. Is that is that possible? Simeon, yeah, it's a question. Uh, I'm surprised that no one asked them about this. They're not altruists or something. They don't wish humanity well or something. Dr. Lightman, obviously, that doesn't interest anyone. Simeon, I think that it's... It's, it's, I, I don't know who whispered this in their ear, but someone, Dr. Leighton, how did they agree to this? How could they agree to this without a fight? It's, it's, it's uh, an even greater industry than weapons in the United States. It's not that you buy a gun once. It's a daily thing, and gradually they're disappearing. It's a wonder. Simeon, can't you say who who told them to do this, guys? Fold up your businesses. Actually, they were. Uh, they would have. They should have been told, guys. Close your businesses, and I'll give you back more. Doctor Lightman, there's no way how you could compensate for it. You, you imagine their revenue. Every day, a person smokes a packet of cigarettes, a box, yeah, an average. It's inconceivable. How could they give it all up? And you say, but that's already behind us. Simeon, okay, I understand you don't want to talk about this. Let's continue. Let people guess. Let's take something about love. Love is good. You know, scientists that study genetics say that the embryo in his mother's womb, of course, he's under her care and love and everything in this environment. You know, I'm talking about it, and I'm envious. He grows in love, surrounded by love, but he too loves. They're saying that if the mom, the mother, gets sick, they secrete this kind of hormone. The, the fetus secretes a hormone to heal the mother. There's this process of love. Dr. Leighton, yeah? I, I believe it, of course. Nature creates these kinds of things. If they're interdependent, then obviously there's feedback. Simeon, so that's the true state. Were we able to preserve it, caring for each other? I'm trying to find some kind of news that, you know, uh, about about a bit, a bit about this fetus. How does he feel? Dr. Leitman, he is all the time trying to do all that is in his ability in order to annul himself toward the mother, by that helping the mother control him. And on the other hand, again, every day, meaning every moment, the mother toward the embryo and the embryo toward the mother, they're all the time signalizing each other about the measure to which they're in mutual love, support, and how they truly need each other all the time, all the time. And the circulation of emotions is what gives strength to the development of the embryo. Simeon, so the mother is renewed all the time, she renews herself all the time, and he grows all the time. Dr. Leitman, yeah. Simeon. I have this emotional, um, I have this uh, emotional recollection. You remember Angela? She was uh, a student of ours, and she was very sick. And uh, the doctors uh, said that she can't get pregnant, and you took this upon yourself. 
you took a lot upon yourself and you said you have to give birth your your organism will renew itself and she had a terrible disease uh, the doctor said by no means can they uh, can she give birth and she gave birth for the first time the second time this renewal of the woman Dr. Lightman in the process of uh, pregnancy Simeon, this is this mutual love, this energy. Uh, Dr. Lightman, the thing is that the embryo gives her such upper spiritual forces that it completes everything, supplements everything. Due to the spiritual structure that she's in, like the creator in relation to creation. But at the end of the day, you see, Dr. Lightman, she carried out her mission. She she was a very special woman. We have no other women like that in Bnei Baruch. Simeon, it's like the creator and the created being. It's, it's like the embryo in his mother's womb is like the creator and the created being. So can we reach a state where we're inside the creator? Dr. Lightman, we have to do this. We have to do this through the group. Every group in the creator, uh, in the the creator has to bring itself to the same state like an embryo in his mother's womb to completely annul themselves and do it for the sake of the creator. Simeon, and this is why you're saying that this is like the health of the creator, meaning our effort to become like an embryo in him. Dr. Lightman, yeah? Simeon, so it's the same game. The embryo is sending love to his mother, and the mother is sending love to the embryo. Can you do it only in a group, Dr. Lightman? Yeah, only in a group. Only a group can get together and complete annulment uh, of itself toward each other, annulling themselves toward each other, and they annul themselves in the group only in order to belong to the Creator. And then, by this, they give the Creator the opportunity to fulfill them, to develop them. Simeon, still, if you can, an ordinary person, how would you explain this to an ordinary person? Maybe not from such a high level. What does it mean to be inside the Creator, an embryo? <laughs> Dr. Lightman, I don't know. To be inside the Creator means to feel not yourself, but Him. Meaning, I annul myself completely. And by annulling myself, in every parameter of my annulment, I feel his attitude toward me. Simeon, so when you say that I annul myself, Dr. Leighton, Simtsum, or Chuzel, Simeon, wait, wait a second. It means that my thoughts, my actions, all my actions, Dr. Leighton, everything's in him, Simeon, and he leads and I allow him to lead me, Dr. Leighton, absolutely. I don't check anything, I completely annul myself in advance. Simeon, is it possible to for a person to reach this? Dr. Lightman, everyone has to. Simeon, so this is the, the goal of every person, the purpose. Dr. Lightman, yeah. Simeon, that you're completely inside the Creator. It's like a river flowing here. You put down the oars and you go with it. Dr. Lightman, and the virus, the coronavirus will help us. Simeon, what is it leading us to now? Dr. Lightman, self-annulment. Simeon, I don't believe anyone. I myself have no strength. Dr. Lightman, only if I'm, I annul myself toward the environment, toward society, and so will each of us, so does each of us. Only by that can society become better, heal itself. Simeon, I'm told to stay home. I stay home, mask, I wear a mask. 
Dr. Lightman, furthermore, what I'm thinking about, I do all of these things in order not to infect others. This is what I'm thinking about, about others, other people. Simeon, oh, I don't know, you're walking around with your mask, but you don't think about that. This, These aren't the thoughts that you have in your head. Dr. Lightman, wait and see how much the world will change. It's a different intention, Simeon. So the main thought is that I do not infect others. Dr. Leifman, yes, Simeon, don't do to others what you hate. And this means that gradually you're already inside the Creator. Dr. Leifman, you're not inside Him yet, but you're no longer at least opposed to Him. It's like Hillel said, don't do to others what you hate. And then... Love the other, love your neighbor as yourself. That's the next stage. Simeon, and love another as yourself. What will that be? Dr. Leitman, make them healthy. Allow them to be healthy. Imagine that you're healthy and they're not, and you give them your blood, whatever is necessary. Simeon, and you're not thinking about yourself, Dr. Lightman, in no way. And then you get well, and they get well. Simeon, I'm not, I'm not expecting any kind of reward in return, a smile, a thank you, Dr. Lightman. Of course not. It's a reward then. Simeon, can a person come to that? Dr. Lightman, yes, and to be grateful for having, for being given this opportunity. It's uh, it's not that far from us. You can understand these things. Simeon, can we? To understand, yeah, but can we do this? Dr. Lightman, gradually, bit by bit. With the support of the environment, Simeon, and this is what the viruses are for in order to bring us closer to this. Uh, Dr. Lightman, see what it's doing. It's the first blow to all of humanity in our age. Simeon, it's, a, it's an amazing scenario. Dr. Lightman, don't you, don't you feel that you're in a dream? Simeon, yeah, sometimes I do, thinking that this is impossible and it is happening. To reach everyone, that's simply... No one could invent this. And this, this is the way to don't do to others what you hate and then love another as yourself. Dr. Lightman, yes. Simeon, and then humanity as one whole. Dr. Lightman, one humanity with one creator. It all happened quickly. Simeon, will we witness this? Dr. Lightman, I think so. I'm even sure of it. Simeon, okay, we have some more time left. Ну давайте вот это. Something simple. Now, in this state of stress, the most accessible remedy against stress when everything is bad, sing. Dr. Lightman, yeah? Simeon, better in a choir, you know, the Italians, they stand on the balcony and sing. When we sing, there's this part in our brain that's activated, and there's this set of neurons that um, when we do this kind of activity, this releases androphines, which raise our spirit, our mood. Dr. Lightman, yeah? Simeon, so when I sing as if emotionally I come out of myself and I work for the sake of others, Dr. Lightman, for everyone, for the sake of everyone. Simeon, so that it, songs even have a spiritual meaning then. Dr. Leitman, if you if you sing together in a core, then yeah, it's a completely different effect.
Simeon, how does the core come together then? Dr. Lightman, the, the choir unites everyone together then. And if they sing something, I don't know, like psalms or something, it has a very strong impact. If they're thinking that they're doing some, what should they think about? This is what I, I want to understand. We are praising our unity and we want from within ourselves, from our whole, to awaken the upper forces of nature, the Creator, in order to be in touch with Him. Simeon, that's very powerful then. So everyone standing on their ba- in their balconies, everyone singing, that's Dr. Lightman, that's excellent. They tried to do it, and practically the, they're, they have no, almost no corona left there. But that's only Southern Europe, uh, Western Europe that's singing. Simeon, well, we actually have to deal with what's going on here. Dr. Leitman, that's a problem. Humanity will suffer, but we will suffer more. Simeon, and if we'll sing, Dr. Leitman, then everyone's going to be behind us. Simeon, so if Israel will sing, everyone will sing. So if Israel will sing psalms, I don't know, we'll sing to the Creator, so to speak, songs of gratitude for being together, this will cure the entire world. Dr. Leitman, yes. Of course. But try to get there. Simeon, yeah. This. Dr. Leitman, Jews are a problem. That's a problem to work with them. I don't know. Simeon, okay. So, till next time. And uh, if you can just say about this, if Israel, Dr. Leitman, if Israel will sing together in a choir, all of humanity will follow, and really all of humanity then will turn to the upper force and will rise to a spiritual level, will discover ourselves in wholeness, completeness, complete health. Eternity. Simeon, when you're saying Israel will sing in a choir, what do you mean? Who are Israel? Dr. Leitman, even the people of Israel, those that identify with us, not necessarily Jews by origin, if we will sing this way, then of course, then we will be able to rise. Simeon, and the world will be cured. Dr. Leitman, absolutely. We will sing, and the entire world will become cured immediately of all their illnesses, problems, internal and external, and especially all the logical ones. Simeon, so we're singing. What what happens? Dr. Leitman, no, it's the heart that that sings. Simeon, this is what you mean. Dr. Leitman, of course, it's not that, you know, some tenor steps out on the balcony. Simeon, what does the heart sing about? Dr. Leitman, that I want to unite with everyone and for all of us together to turn to the Creator. Only that thing. For Him to help us be together and will help us be together between us and Him. Simeon, to turn to the Creator means what? I, I turn to the Creator, what do I tell Him? What do I sing out of my heart? Dr. Leitman, only to feel the connection between humanity and the Creator, that's it. Simeon, okay. Uh, but I feel that it's love, that it's bestowal. Dr. Leitman, of course it's bestowal, it's love, like we said, it's the feeling what an abrio feels in his mother's womb. Simeon, it's like the embryo praising his mother, singing. Dr. Leitman, of course, best possible state, condition, nothing better.
Simeon, your father, your mother, and where your children. Dr. Leighton, yes, Simeon, thank you.